Good morning from a very sunny Thorpe Park where we're here for... High Fives! High Fives! A new event for 2021. It's our summer vlog here from Thorpe Park. We're also going to be taking you around the park and sharing all of the different updates on queue times, merchandise, and just giving you all the different updates if you're going to be coming to Thorpe Park over the summer period. You looking forward to it? Yes. Here we go, the crowd are roaring coming in. Honestly, I think it's going to be a good atmosphere here today. Ride closes 6 o'clock. We've probably got a few rides, but we're more about getting the updates. Oh my God, on all the queue times today. That's what it's all about. The vibes are real down here at Thorpe Park today. So yeah, from 12 o'clock, they've got lots of different entertainment around the park. Um, street theatre, singers, live music, um, some acrobats, I think, as well. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, lots to see. So come and join us here from the Island Light Now Weather. It is a hot day today. Oh my God, it's so hot. Oh, honestly, I should have brought a cap with me today but I haven't brought one but uh, we'll see what happens we'll make the most yeah. of it come and join us here at Park Vibes at Thorpe Park here we are then inside the dome and if you haven't already noticed we've got some awesome audio for Park Vibes like a dance version of the Thorpe Park soundtrack it's brilliant, isn't it? yeah it's great and I think on some of the oh she's already dancing the vibes are real and I think on some of the rides they've got like different announcements it's really good to see Thorpe Park are good with stuff like that actually like changing them for Friday nights and Oktoberfest and we've also got lots of different uh, decorations around the park mostly all this different bunting but yeah quite like those with some of the rides on of course colossus nemesis inferno stealth and the swarm no saw on there which is interesting but there we go yeah and the park vibes logo down there in the middle so yeah we'll uh, head this way out of the dome it is a hot day today i'd probably say it's the hottest day of the year so far actually really warm so yeah, you got all of the different flags just down here. Very nice as we make our way down into Amity. All the tables as well. Of course, you can grab a nice drink or a snack. And yeah, just chill out around by these tables. Quite a nice setup. What? A snack? A snack. No snacks for you though, Charlotte. A snack. <laughs> but yeah, sunshine. It's lovely. We're going to head round over towards Stealth because it's only actually advertised 20 minutes. So let's go round there and we'll uh, go and find out. Also today, I am going to be riding the attraction you can see directly in front of us is Tidal Wave. Now, last time we were here, I don't know if you remember, we made a promise to the viewers and you said you were going to go on. It's Tidal Wave, Charlotte. Like, <laughs> I'm definitely going to go on later. If not, Charlotte will get some footage of me. She's not coming on, but you got all day to decide. You said you'd do it, Charlotte. It's Tidal Wave. They want to see you on there. They get absolutely serious. You've never been on it. Yeah, but you get soaked. Yeah, it's called Tide the Way for a reason. <laughs> Here we go. Let's uh, make our way down this way to the Amity Speedway. Yeah, we're going to get a ride on style. If it's only advertised at uh, 20 minutes, not too bad. Here comes the splash. Oh, sponsored by Oasis. Lovely. That's the closest in quite a long time that I've been to get a roll back on that. It's been going slow over the top out today. It's really crawling over the top. <laughs> like you saw in that off-ride footage that I took just, it is going slow and of course a big part of that is the heat today. It is very warm. It's so warm, it felt so intense. It did and that's the thing, like you're waiting in the baking hot sunshine in the queue and then it just prepares, you know, your body and then you get on there uh, and it feels just more intense. That was brilliant, that was riding. Absolutely awesome, wasn't it? I absolutely it? love Stealth. We only waited 25 minutes as well. No, not too bad. But yeah, that was brilliant. Honestly, thought we was going to get a roll back on there. It's perfectly safe, by the way. If you don't know much about roller coasters like Stealth, if it rolls back, it's all designed to literally come to a gradual stop on the area where it would launch and the brake fins will raise up and of course it will come to a gradual stop. So I love a roll back. So would I. I never had one. I've seen one happen. I was two trains off getting one. Um, but yeah, very long time ago. Of course, it opened back in 2006, that coaster. We have never been lucky enough to have one, unfortunately. Oh, I am loving this awesome photo opportunity down by Vortex. Hashtag Thought Park in the Park Vibes colours, orange and blue. It's really nice. It's a lovely photo point, isn't it? That is great. I think we should have a photo out here, don't you? Yes, yeah, definitely. That's really nice. But uh, anyway, shortly, we're actually going to be making our way over to a certain little ride that I've not been on for quite a while. And Charlotte has now agreed she's going to go on. What is that ride? Tidal Wave. You're going on? 
I promised the viewers, so I've got to do it. And we've decided to get on it earlier today, before I've never, later. I've never been on this. Your first time, honestly, this is genuine reactions you're going to be getting. I know we can't film on the ride, but you're going to get Charlotte's build up in the queue, and then when we come off, footage of Charlotte dripping Why wet through. This? Honestly, there's going to be water dripping all down you. Honestly, it's going to be hilarious. But we're going to head over there now and join the queue. It was advertised 65 just. I think it's going to get busier than that later, so we'll do it now. Little Charlotte here. <laughs> I hope you like this view. <laughs> She's going to be getting wet. Oh, God. Oh, it's been a while since I've entered this queue line for a ride on Tidal Wave. We've got an advertised wait time of approximately 65 minutes. And this is it, I'm about to enter the queue for the first ever time. Here she is. It's oh, Charlotte, what? everybody. Oh, what you, I don't know why you're bothering putting sun cream on. Like, it's all going to get washed off in a minute. <laughs> don't start me. <laughs> this is it, making our way down the queue line. Yeah, 65 advertised wait time. Obviously, a lot of people save this until the end of the day because, of course, you get soaked. But luckily, it's a nice warm day today. <laughs> Genuinely, this is Charlotte's first ever time coming on. It's Tidal Wave here at Thorpe Park and we're in for a soaker. It's July 2021 and this is it. There's some awesome theming in the Tidal Wave queue line and obviously because we don't ride it that much you don't really get to appreciate it all but yeah you got this bathroom just here, the Tidal Wave struck the building, the shower's still on just there. I tell you what though, gonna be getting a bit wetter than underneath that shower just there. <laughs> oh, don't worry viewers, she secretly loves it. <laughs> you, got the, <laughs> you got the used chain just up there, of course, with the lift bill as well. Got two boats in operation. Oh, God, this is going to be funny. I can't wait to see it when we come off. Look at her. Oh, God. Well, the queue seems to be moving pretty fast. And this toilet down here has got a bit of a leak. I think the uh, Thorpe Park maintenance team needs to come out and get that fixed, don't you? Oh, dear. Well, we've only actually been waiting 15 minutes so far. And we're only about five minutes away now from the station and Charlotte's ride on Tidal Wave. What sort of emotions are you going through right now, Charlotte? I feel sick to my stomach. <laughs> She's been drinking water just in the queue. I was like, you don't need to drink that. You can have a mouthful of water in a minute anyway. <laughs> what I do like about the queue line here, though, of course, is the theme to pull the tanks. Like, you look at this and think, oh, it's probably just theming. But no, this is all genuinely for the ride, all the different pumps. You got the inlet pressure and the outlet pressure there on the uh, gauges on the side. We have themed it all up to look a bit like a little boat service area, little gas station where the boats are going to get service. But this is it. Our last clip before we go on the ride. It's all cameras, bags, everything's going to stay in the station. Charlotte, we'll see you afterwards. This is it. Charlotte's ride for the first ever time on Tidal Wave here at Thorpe Park. Here we go in the glorious sunshine. We'll see you when we come off. <laughs> Uh, a little oh, bit wet. I'm so sad. <laughs> I, I was going to drown. <laughs> Look at her. Oh my God. I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Look at her. What are your thoughts on Tidal Wave here at Thorpe Park? I will never. <laughs> oh, I'm fuming. Honestly, look at her. She's soaked through to the bone. And the best bit is the boat coming down got you just on the exit as well. Oh my God. She's dripping wet through. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that has made my season. 2021, the summer to remember. Charlotte at Thorpe Park, right on Tidal Wave. Look at it, yeah, absolutely dripping wet through. Need to hang you up on the line, I think. I'm absolutely livid about this. <laughs> Look at the state of me. <laughs> You're lucky that we didn't get on the front row. Like we were on the uh, second row from the back like as well. I jumped in a lake. Oh, honestly, you look like you jumped in a lake as well. I told you you weren't going to need any water, like you know, a shower in the queue or drinking any water. I honestly. Oh, that was absolutely oh, that was fantastic. Horrible. Absolutely disgusting. I say the biggest water ride in the country. Charlotte has now been on it, and you know what? Water ride. 
Well, what about if we go back to Oakwood? We'll get you on drenched. How about that? No, I'm not doing it. Valhalla's reopening next year at Pleasure Beach. What about that? I'm going into hibernation. That's it. Charlotte, everybody, a vlog to remember. Fourth part, July 2021. Charlotte on Tidal Wave. Honestly, I'm absolutely soaked too, but luckily, today was the day for doing it, wasn't it? And now it's daylight today, sun shining. Honestly, today's the day. I'm already starting to dry off, I can feel it. Oh, God, that was brilliant. What a ride. Tidal Wave, everybody. Here we go then, straight into the Park Vibes Entertainment then now. Here we go. Bit of street there going on. Loving the bike there with all the lights on. Like they're like battery powered uh, LED lights. Having a little party down here in Amity. Oh, I've got something to party about. And that's Charlotte's first ride on Tidal Wave. You know what though, we are starting to dry off already. I think you've been off the ride less than 10 minutes. Look at this. Massive dry patches already. Oh, it was so good. Honestly, fair play to Charlotte. Honestly, I wouldn't make her go on if you really didn't want to. You did You did say you'd go on, I didn't you? Promise. Yeah, I didn't force her to go on. I'll tell you what though, I did bribe her. I said that I'll get you like an ice cream, treat. a treat, a Ben and Jerry's maybe, a, well, I a donut. I really want one of the Ben and Jerry's, but every time we've come, the store's been closed. Should we have a look down there and see if it's uh, if it's maybe open? We'll uh, have a little stroll down and have a look. Oh, here we go. It's open, the Ben and Jerry's scoop shop. Lovely, that's Charlotte's treat for going on Tidal Wave. Away. Oh, especially when you're drying off now, anyway. Yeah, yeah lovely. You're going to sit in here and eat these, though, because it's so high outside, and then they're going to melt. But yeah, these are the uh, Sundays that you can get here. These are absolutely delicious. Oh, it's tuck in. Nemesis Inferno there, getting into the park vibes here at Thor Park with all the uh, bunting up just down there. Just thought I'd show you down here at Rumba Rapids as well. Well, I say Rumba Rapids, the name has actually changed for this event. Yeah. Yes, it's actually the Rumba Rapids. Get it? Rapids. No more water rides, though, sure. Oh, no, we won't go on. I'm not too fussed about Rumba Rapids. It's nothing spectacular. Oh, yeah. But uh, there you go, they've actually changed all the signage. Rumba Rapids. Been done by a good friend of mine, actually, Arch Nemesis, who does some absolutely awesome stuff, yeah, doesn't he? Amazing job. Oh, we love him. He does some great stuff. But yeah, he worked with Nick, who does theme park audio, believe it or not, and um, to actually put all of the audio together here for park vibes. But yeah, really good vibes down here. You can hear a bit of it on the uh, Rumba Rapids. But oh, here we go, doing a little dance for you. <laughs> Love it. But yeah, it's nice how they've changed the music down here at Thought Bar. I do like how they always put that effort in with stuff like that. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll see some more of the entertainment about this afternoon. They've got like a BMX area. Here he is, Arch Nemesis. Bit of a BMX area up by Stell, so we'll try and catch that. Slide to the left and slide to the right. Splash to the right. Hey! Which way are you going to splash to the left or right? Love it. But so uh, no, brilliant down here at the Rumba Rapids. Here we go then, up by Stealth then now, and yeah, he's on his BMX just here doing some nice tricks for us. Stealth launching there just behind. Hey. Wish I could do that. I can't, but yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. You just can't use it all, or indeed any, any kind of way you want. So, stay safe and stay safe. Hey. Oh, he's good at that. There we go. Whoa, having a bit of a flip round. Oh, wow. It's good at that. I can't ride a bike like that. I can ride an electric bike to Alton Towers, but that's about all you're going to see me doing. There you go. Yeah, fair place. He's just kind of doing his own thing down here, doing a few tricks down here outside stealth. Amity Speedway. So here's something that's a little bit different now in terms of the advertised queue times here at Thorpe Park. Instead of just displaying like 60 on the board, it now says approximate there. At the end, as you can see, it's an approximate 60 minute wait for Nemesis Inferno. So yeah, I think that's better really, because a lot of people probably thought, oh, it says 60 minutes, that's what it's going to be. Tell you what, I still don't think it rides as good as the original Nemesis at Alton Towers, but it certainly looks the part, doesn't it? It's got a lot more intense over the years. I heard a uh, little Charlotte then going, oh, it does. I prefer this one. Oh, you do, don't you? I know quite a few people that do, though, to be fair. What do you prefer about it? What do you enjoy? I prefer the layout and stuff. It's not as intense as the other Nemesis. Oh, well, that's the one. The original, not just the other Nemesis, it's the original. The beast, the beauty. <laughs> just notice they've got a little stage set up over here. I've seen a few of these little podiums throughout the park. Charlotte's on, are you? Yeah. Oh, lovely. You look like you're drying off now, anyway. <laughs> Down into 
Old Town. Got a bit of uh, music going on just over here. Let's put a live music down here at Thorpe Park. to the vibes doesn't it yeah it's quite nice quite a lot going on actually around the park which is always good to see a little walk around old town because there's been a lot of talk lately about new roller coasters Ooh. and of course a new roller coaster potentially coming here to Thorpe Park at some point in the near future fingers crossed yeah just thought we'd have a little stroll around old town because you know changes could be on the horizon for this area of course Loggers Leap's been closed for quite a few years now over at the back there I used to love Loggers Leap oh it was a great log flume <laughs> Another one for Charlotte. I didn't win, I didn't win. Oh, it was a good ride, Log Leap, it was. I did enjoy it, but you know, it's no longer with us. However, this is a good site for a coast around here, so it's going to be interesting to see over the next few years what's going to be happening at Thorpe Park. Because surely next year it's going to be 10 whole years since Thorpe Park have put in a coaster. We need something yeah. Something's got to be coming at some point Thorpe soon, Park. definitely. But uh, yeah, Old Town, you know, we're going to see this area maybe closed off, redeveloped. Comment down below, what would you like to see? Whether that's an RMC, a family coaster, maybe another water ride, I don't know. But there's a lot of talk going around, <laughs> a lot of talk about, um, you know, new rides at the moment. So it'll be very interesting to see if anything happens around here very soon. Saw the ride heading round there. So I show you Samurai as well. It's still closed at the moment, unfortunately. Been having a bit of work done to it, so they've obviously been having a few technical issues for them to close it mid-season. But as you can see, it's uh, parked a little bit raised up there. That's normally where it goes to before spinning round. Did have some scaffolding on it not too long ago, so not too sure what's up with it. But hopefully soon it'll be back in action because I do really like a good uh, spin round on Samurai. Good flat ride. It's not too bad, to be honest. Yeah, I like it. It might not run the best cycles, it's but... It's not too bad. Yeah, it's all right. You come here on a quiet day and the operator, you know, and he's like, yeah, we'll get you, keep you going round on there, give you a longer cycle. Overall, though, crowds aren't too bad today for a Friday. I thought it might have been a bit busier, of course, with it being like the busiest midweek day before going into the weekend. But yeah, it's not too bad down here at Thorpe Park. <laughs> Well, there's currently only an advertised 30 minute wait for Colossus. 30 minutes aprox, according to the signage now, but it is around here, so I'm not too sure. Well, we may as well give it a go. Advertised 30 minutes, bit of shade. Charlotte's getting a bit hot. Oh, too hot. It is hot today, like, honestly. But yeah, we get a little shade in this queue anyway, round through the trees around this way. Yeah, and then we'll check out some more of the uh, park vibes entertainment. But yeah, we've got to have a ride on Colossus, haven't we? It was the first roller coaster in the world to go upside down 10 times when it opened in 2002. Well, I must say, fantastic operations over on Colossus. We waited 25 minutes and then we're getting the trains out really quick on there. Yeah, it seemed to go really fast. Colossus is normally one of those rides where you know you feel like you're going to wait ages, the queue's very slow, of course, merging in the fast track as well. That was really quick, really fantastic. Good How was your ride? I'd rather sit in your restraint in the shed. <laughs> yeah, of course, back in the world of theme parks, calling it a shed, it's the world of theme parks. Uh, of course, I've got my uh, Colossus restraints um, that I bought many years ago now. But um, yeah, you know, of course, I really like that coaster. I think with that, you've got to just keep your head forward. Don't keep your head far back. I bashed my ears, it was horrible. It can be an ear basher, you know, if you keep your head back, but keep it forward, um, hold on tight and enjoy the ride. That's what I say. And yeah, we're off to see some sort of show, aren't we now? Yeah, it's like some dance group. Sort of street yeah. dancing show, I'm not too sure, but it's outside Darren Brown's ghost train. It's just started and we're heading over there now. So we'll put in some footage for you. Colossus, the power of 10. Some great audio in there from Archie as well. Well, here we are then, down at Darren Brown's Ghost Train. And here's your dance show at Thorpe Park, everybody. Got the, uh, oh, here we go. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, gather round. For the best show in town. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, right here in Thorpe Park. The thing is, Charlotte, you can't go wrong with Thorpe Park. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Thorpe Park. Thorpe Park is the best thing ever. Yeah, it is. Thank you very much. 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 Th
I mean, that means that I've got a dance on it. Mr. Worldwide, theme bar worldwide, everybody. But there's your showtime. Here he is, Mr. Worldwide. Not quite a theme bar worldwide, but he'll have to do. Hello! Hello! Brilliant! Two people. <laughs> I said hello! Hello! There we go, much better. Ladies and gentlemen, we are OK Worldwide. We've been performing around the world and we're here today to perform in front of you for your entertainment. I think they were but in Wembley last that, week, we or the O2. You know that this show has two simple rules. Two. Rule number one. What? During the show, if you see something that you like, something like this. Hey. You need to clap your hands and make some noise. Everybody, Woo. a round of applause. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Ladies, Bit of crowd the participation there now. Protection. Parents, <laughs> if your kids got that joke, bad parents. What's gonna happen next? Tudor over there, he's gonna need all your energy. So everybody, clap your hands at the same time. He's like a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. Louder, faster, stronger, now make some noise! Oh. Hey. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much for your help. Yes, you may go back. So you've just seen Mr. Worldwide over there. About a 15 minute show, getting people out of the audience. Not seen that for a while. Oh, Didn't realise it was the 19th of July already. Oh, but uh, oh. I tell you what, I feel like we're walking down London, right, in Leicester Square, and like, they put like a rope around the street, and they put like a hat on the floor for you to put money into. Yeah, that's what it feels like. They're like a buskin show. You're right. Hey, think about worldwide on YouTube. That's what it kind of felt like. Yeah, there was called OK Worldwide. The name's quite fitting because there was OK. Oh, I like that. There you go. Go. Nothing spectacular that one. I prefer the uh, the live music that was heard yeah, throughout the park. Yeah. But uh, there you go, something a bit different. And talking of a bit different up here, they're actually doing this big graffiti wall at the moment. I'm not too sure how I feel about this. Of course, it is the Thought Park logo that they're putting in up there. But obviously, this isn't just going to be for park buys because it would have been done by now. Um, so yeah, like, I'm not too sure how I feel about it because we're right in the heart of the themed area, the dockyard here, and there's going to be this big graffiti wall. So I'm not too sure I like the idea idea of that. To be honest, I'd rather have just gone down B&Q, got a couple of nice uh, tins of paint, and then literally painted all of the building up normally, to be honest. I think it looks a bit of a mess. Yeah, I'm not too keen on it. I know I that's the vibe. It looks like where it's finished. Yeah, it's kind of like Thorpe Park's vibes. They like doing stuff a bit yeah. different, don't they? But it's not really my cup of tea, I'll be honest. I'd rather the building have just had a nice paint up to fit in with Darren Brown because obviously you got this big facade and I spin you around over here and you got uh, Darren Brown with all its themed facade. So I'm not too sure about that one, but it is what it is. Uh, anyway, going to go and ride another coaster now. Should we head over towards the Swarm? Yeah. Some more new audio over at the Swarm, actually. And this isn't just for park vibes. There's actually a new track that's been created for over there. So we'll go and uh, check that out. I quite like the old one, to be honest. So it's going to be interesting to hear what the new one's like. ...which have escaped from a research facility in Seoul. The leak occurred in the early hours of this morning from a secure site close to the theme park, Thorpe Park. This is your new audio. Bit of storyline when you're walking down into the area now. Very different. According to the sign just down there, advertised wait time of 20 minutes for the park's B&M wing coaster. Oh, I love a good wing rider, I do. Yeah, the audio is certainly very different as you walk down here onto the island. It's like the radio's all crackling up. I like how it gives you some sort of storyline as you're walking down. I think that's quite good. Yeah, it's nice, that. And of course, it's like the radio's all crackling and bits of good. distorted songs as well. How are you Oh, there we go. It's yeah, like interviewing the Reverend down here at the church. Of course, the station building there in front of us, being that church that's been destroyed by the swarm. Hey, so yeah, there is free sun creams throughout the park. And also, what have you just done with your water bottle? Free water. Yes, so you can go and get free ice cold water. Is this going to be working? Hey, we've been to a few of these and they've needed filling up. The only one that's worked the one that's Oh, there you go. I'm going to put some on in a second. But yeah, you can also get, along with free sun cream, you can get your free water bottle refills um, from any of the uh, freestyle machines. Yeah, brilliant. That's, I thought you were going to put some on your glasses then. I don't think your sunglasses are going to get sunburned. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm going to put some sun cream on and we're going right over on the Swarm, the only wing coaster here in the UK. 
still advertised on the screen down here. 20 minutes, approximate wait time. Main entrance for the swarm. Let's go and ride, then I'll put in some off ride footage. Yeah, the audio is certainly very different. More like a radio station now with all the rock music playing. Then every so often it distorts off and uh, interviews. Yeah, it's a little bit different, isn't it? Let's go and have a ride. Looks maybe a little bit longer than 20 minutes to me, but I don't know with how good operations have been. Well, operations have been good today, especially over on Colossus. So we'll see, yeah, because this looks way longer than 20 minutes now. Looks at least half an hour to me. Well, let's go and ride. Well, we waited a grand total of 15 minutes for the swarm. I know, not long at all. Operations are phenomenal at Fort Park today. Very impressed, actually. Yeah, the staff are doing a really good job, especially on a really hot day today. Yeah. It's stormy. Oh, it does, yeah. Some clouds coming over, as we saw there, from up at the top on the swarm. What a great ride, though. Absolutely love it. But yeah, 15 minute wait. The new audio is great as well. I was getting vampire vibes in the station. I think it really adds to the atmosphere before you get on as well. Really good. Mm, yeah, it was like a, an organ with like rock music in the background. Very good and very much uh, enjoyed it. Yeah, I think it's a nice improvement to the ride down there. Nine year old coaster, some new audio for its 10th birthday next year. You know, that's what we yeah. like. But uh, anyway, it wouldn't be a trick to Thorpe Park without flying with the fish, would it? Let's fly with the fish. Literally a five minute queue there, pretty much walk on. So we're going to fly with the fish here this afternoon at Park Vibe at Thorpe Park Resort. Well, we had a nice ride there over on the Flying Fish. Made our way this afternoon now over to Nemesis Inferno. An approximate wait time of 35 minutes. That's gone down a lot since earlier. Normally I think, oh, it looks quite busy. Is it going to be 35? But they've been very accurate, the queue times today. And this is a big test because it's a very popular ride, this one. So yeah, we'll go and uh, find out if it is. Oh my God, it's like a nightclub in here. The music is pumping straight onto the train for Nemesis Inferno. Is it straight on? Oh no, we're on the next one. Oh, blimey. Proper bouncing in here, isn't it? Here you go, Charles, giving us a little dance. Dance in the air, guys. Nemesis Inferno, BNM Minsburg, 2003, here at Thorpe Park. That's my rapping. Oh, we're on. Ah, straight on. a grand total of 45 minutes there for Nemesis Inferno. A bit longer than advertised, but you know what? It was worth the wait. Oh, it's such a good coaster. I really enjoy it. It's so underrated. I enjoyed that. I think the reason that, I've said this before in the vlogs, but the reason that people don't rate it as highly, myself included, is because it's got the Nemesis name in there. It's called yeah. Inferno. Yeah. Much better. But uh, anyway, it's still a great coaster and it's aged great over the years. Coming towards the end of our day here at Thorpe Park, we've actually done more than I was expecting yeah, today. Yeah, I was expecting it to be really busy, but we have done quite a bit today. Yeah, we've done four of the big coasters. We're not going to do the solar ride because it's still advertised at 70 minutes. It's a um, Yeah, you know, it's not one of my favourites, but of course we did put in a bit of, oh, that was a good shot of Colossus. Uh, we put in a bit of off-ride footage just saw earlier on. So might try and do a couple of flats, maybe get on Vortex, possibly Quantum, and then we'll wrap up our visit here to Thorpe Park. But yeah, it's been a really nice day in the sunshine. Some black clouds coming over though now. Yeah, I know there is. I think we're in for a storm. Yeah, I think so. In fact, I'll just put in this uh, clip now for you of saw that I just talk whilst I was down there with the black clouds behind it's very moody
did on the flats here at Thorpe Park and Quantum was absolutely awesome as always. Going in the Thorpe Mega Store then now, let's go and see what merch there is, see if there's anything for Park Vibes. Well, you can get some socks if you want for £6, available in all different sizes. Hang on a minute, since when did socks come in sizes? Like, I did not yeah. know that. Yeah, they do. I'm 28 years old and I've only just found out they that socks... What? Yeah. That's, that's great. What size sock are you then? Um, well, it'd be the same size as your shoe size. Is it actually? So what? It'd be a size 6. I did not know that. There we go. Maybe I sound stupid. You're probably all laughing at me at home now, but there you go. Didn't know that. £6 for your ride socks. Nemesis Inferno there, lots of other different ones. Yeah, a bit different, aren't they? And of course, they're all in the Park Vibes colours down here. That's nice, isn't it, up there at the top? It's not the sort of thing that I would wear, but it is very nice with all the different logos on there. £40 for that jacket. Of course, you've got all your different sweeps and stuff available in here as well, as always. And we'll see if there's uh, other merch around here. All your different ride bears. £12 for the swarm bear just there. Nemesis Inferno. Hoodie bear, the swarm hoodie bear. There you go. Nice. There you go, here's some of your other uh, ride socks for the swarm. Spin it round just so you can see. There you go. Oh, you can get all the different uh, patches here as well. Oh, they're quite cool, aren't they? Of course, so that you can sew them on. Oh, there you go, love that. There you go, the iron-on patches. Perfect for customising your jackets and bags. Three pound. And the Colossus one up there. These are nice, look. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, patches. patches are great. Yeah, I like those. Uh, you can just uh, kind of iron them on or sew them on. Yeah, really nice. There's quite a few new bits actually since I was uh, last here. These new jumpers. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they've got all the flags apart vibes. Yeah, I like the Colossus one. How much, sorry? £35. £35, not too bad. Yeah, they're great in all the different colours. I've been doing some great merchandise lately at the Merlin Parks, but yeah, that's nice as well. All of them are good, to be honest. Yeah, I quite like them. Yeah, my favourite's probably the Colossus one just there. Yeah, I like the uh, the turquoise colour. That's the colour what the track should be. Come on, Thought Park, get it painted up. Let's have it back to its uh, original colour. All sorts of different stuff. All new, there we go. All the different uh, ranges that they've got here. More socks, pin badges, caps. They've gone to town. I think with Park Vibes, it's probably going to come back next year and become an annual event here at Thought Park, much like Oktoberfest is now and also Fright Nights. Monopoly down there as well. Mugs, all your standard kind of stuff. We had some nice bits actually. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, I think they're really good. Oh, not the camera, <laughs> they're really good down there. Right, we're going to uh, head back out and we'll uh, wrap up the vlog shortly. We're going to get a bit of food, probably going to have a KFC, I think, and then we'll, uh, yeah, might get one last ride in possibly to end our visit here to Thorpe Park. Well, the park's really quiet out now. We only waited five minutes for stealth, made our way over to the swarm. And we're straight into the station for our last ride of the day here at Thorpe Park. So yeah, we're going to have a nice little ride over on the Swarm. Had a little marathon on the Swarm there to end the day. It was walk-on. There's actually a bigger queue at ride clothes for depth charge than the Swarm. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. But uh, we had a really good day down here at Thorpe Park. In terms of park vibes, yeah, it adds something to the park. Not loads, in my opinion, but it's nice to see a bit more entertainment around. Yeah, I agree. It's nice to see a little bit more about, but I feel like there could have been a bit more about. Yeah, I think because it's the first one, maybe they're just kind of finding the feet with it, and then next year they'll be able to expand on it a bit Definitely. more. Great to see Merlin doing more events, though, of course, because you've got wild the fest at Chessington World of Adventure starting soon. Along with that as well, of course, Park Vibes that we've done today, and we had Mardi Gras at Alton Towers last month. Oh, I loved Mardi Gras. More events, which is great to see across the different Merlin parks. In terms of the operations here today, we've been really impressed. To be honest, I've not had a bad visit to Thorpe Park this year. I think ops have been really good. Yeah, they've been getting the trains out really fast. Yeah, especially on uh, Colossus, I was really impressed with earlier on, because we were waiting quite far down the queue line. It moved so fast. Bashing the trains out on there. The Swarm, of course, do it at the end of the day it's normally quiet anyway same with stealth inferno was a little bit longer than advertised but again they were getting the trains out Definitely. quick if you're coming down here over summer have an absolutely awesome time at the island like no other 
Um, my highlight of the day has got to be Charlotte going Not on tidal, tidal wave. wave. I will never ride that again. Have you fully dried off yet or yeah, not? Yeah, I have actually. Uh, yeah, literally, it's took until six o'clock, but we've just dried it's off. Dried off. I think it was like five hours ago we went on it. But what an awesome day down here at Thorpe Park. Of course, we filmed lots of new vlogs um, over the past couple of weeks on the channel, and daily vlogs is set to continue with lots more coming up this week. So stay tuned for that here on Theme Park Worldwide. But uh, up next, we're actually going to be making our way to Wales, where Ooh. we're going to a brand new coaster. Yes. We're off to the Forest Tower coaster that I'm really looking forward to um, at Zip World Tower. So yeah, it just opened last week. We're going to be checking Something it out. New. Something brand new, brand new coaster that we're going to go and check out here on Theme Park Worldwide. So stay tuned for that one. From me and Charlotte here from Thorpe Park, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in Wales.